my name is Sewa Mensa, a native of Ghana in West Africa. When I first came here, I play other European instruments. I didn't bring any Ghanaian instrument. I brought a flute, a Ghanaian flute. Uh, and then I brought a little drum, almost a toy drum, for my son, my little son, he's a big boy now, uh, to mess around with. But I didn't bring any Ghanaian instrument because I didn't know anything about Minnesota. After a few months, I thought, how can I live here without playing my music? I wasn't thinking about teaching it. I was thinking about me playing it for me. I was so used to playing that it was a part of my life. Uh, and yet I didn't have people who could play that music. And so I decided I'll find a couple of Minnesotans, teach them the music so I can play it for myself. And we did like an hour and a half performance at McAllister and we got a standing ovation after every piece. And I was shocked at the response. This is called a denkum. Uh, audiences really enjoy it uh, because the instruments are unusual. We're going to use uh, um, a calabash gourd with a long neck. This is a denkum. And so the music is named after this. But uh, the following semester, later in the spring, I got a call from a that They wanted me to come teach there. Uh, so that's how, you know, it started. And I started getting invitations to share the music and the culture in schools. I don't think that I can live anywhere without playing my music. I have uh, my own group. It's a Ghanaian folklore and dance ensemble called Sankofa. Sankofa is a bird. It's a traditional symbol for it. It's an imaginary bird that is going one direction and picking up something from behind. Its meaning is to take what is good from your past and use it in the future. Any museum embodies the spirit of Sankofa, uh, you know, on many levels. I mean, these pieces help us to understand our past, but also help us to, uh, to decide where we want to go. And, you know, people get all kinds of inspiration from things that, you know, have been there in the past. It's difficult to go to a museum and not, when you leave, you walk out, not feel like I gotta do something. Something will inspire you to change the way you think. You know, you walk away and you feel something has changed in you. You realize that, wow, I mean, life is not just what we're having around us because there's so much that happened before and so much that can happen after us. Now you realize that this is a life continuum.